and banner. Get bye bye cousin. So yeah, here's the Christmas episode. In the middle of May, I'm going to be recording this. Look at that ugly ass Carola. Go back and look at the one with the triple part in. Oh, so he's just going to scold them. And he's from very high up, so that would also have some impact velocity. <laughs> what a prick, right? <laughs> I'm glad they're allowed to wear... Oh, this is the one, isn't it? We need to steal all the ice. We can't steal water any other time of the year and fucking freeze it when we're putting it in space. The coldest vacuum on the planet. On the planet? Off the planet. <laughs> they literally are taking it through the vacuum of space. Just get water. Freeze it. In transit. Oh, and he looks really haggard and weird in that shot. Where his eyebrows are gone. <laughs> so that was the wink at the camera where they were like, waterlogged reptiles? Who wants to... by a child. <laughs> so yeah, that was a wink at the camera, like, haha, fuck the Ninja Turtles. So, you know, put it on the board. People they've tried to put down. The Smurfs. Some, something else. Um... Mr. Fromage. He's not even trying with the puns now, he's just saying, yes, cheese, cheese, cheese man. Cheese man. Big cheese. <laughs> Dead. Why is Charlie even getting involved? She looks, she's normally just like, look at these fucking dumbasses. Good question. They were barely introduced. Oh, yeah. This is the first time they bother to show a title. This is episode, what, 12? This is the first time they show you the title, the titles. Because every other time it's running to maximum length, you know? So they don't have enough time, so they just show you the logo and then go straight in again. <laughs> I was as shocked as you guys were when I first watched this. I was like, Wait, there's a title? Like a title sequence? And it's literally just showing them doing shit that they kind of do. But don't really often, like, you know, it's just examples of basically what the show is about. Yeah! <laughs> but like, the, the theme tune was just like a nice run Mars, and just guitar solos, and the guy going, bike on mice from Mars. <laughs> Not the orphans, save the orphans. <laughs> Seriously, it's the orphans. <laughs> Rock and slide. Good job that dish was there.
So this is legitimately the episode where they introduce orphans that are important for this episode and then aren't ever again. To be fair, yeah, the biggest problem the biker mice could have is treacherous road conditions. <laughs> Let's be fair, <laughs> you know. Would be a problem. Also, Throttle's bike design changed subtly from like this episode and the last couple, where it was a two-tone black and white job before with a noticeably taller fuel tank, and now it's got fatter wheels. Oh, his back neck! He's got back neck. That uh, is back neck, fat neck. He's got neck fat, back neck fat. So they were he So they were gonna win with those, but they just turn around because they didn't want to damage them any further. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Ah, they care for the children. Like I said before, He makes it sound like ice is something you can't easily get from just getting a lot of water and freezing it. This is what really fucking confuses me, and it's like if you really need it good, like fresh, go on the mountains. Oh, she's horrible. <laughs> Weathermeister. Look at that. Look at that. The way they chose to draw her. I mean, if I was Limburger, I would be pissed off with humanity at this point, the amount of people that I can hire. And you notice how almost all of the villains are a stereotype of some kind, and often a very blatant national stereotype. Often German. Oh, that was... No, don't play the laugh again. His eyes have shrunk! They cannot choose his proportions, or carbuncles particularly consistently. His eyes are different now, look. And that's clearly not the voice actor's laugh. Oh... So she's generating snow for them to steal because they believe it to be ice for some reason. And like they're like, oh, the sun is melting. Oh, I, I can't even. Even a child will understand that like water turns to ice if you freeze it. So like the whole thing is like. Gotta save the kids. <laughs> They're literally just gonna break her door. So fuck 
like you <laughs> to be fair she someone needs to because they just bust through every door yeah you, you know what bikers do they drive out in the snow singing carols that's what bikers do she only has four fingers she only has four fingers on each hand. And even in the midst of a snow drift, they will not put a fucking shirt on. Not one of them will put a shirt on, even when they're driving through the snow. I love that. That's, that's a commitment and a half. I'm this ripped, I have to show it in the depths of a blizzard. I mean, I guess they have fur, but you know what I mean, man. Actually, that must mean they're super buff when you think about it, right? Because it's like, they're, they're that ripped and they've got a layer of fur covering themselves. And you can still see their ab definition. He can track snowballs with his gun. It's not tracking his heat signature, is it? <laughs> so what the fuck's it tracking? Movement? Because they're in a blizzard. Gotta see the kids from the snow. To be fair, that's quite a lot of snow. They're <laughs> making their presents known, get it? Yeah, we saved the orphans. I'm sure they'll come back in another episode. And it wasn't purely to spread the Christmas cheer. What the hell, that kid's got an owl's head! What the fuck?! <laughs> Christmas. But you've got a, an adult head! But you're sure! You can tell it's 90s orphans, because a lot of them have backwards caps. <laughs> like, you know. Oh my god, on the side profile you actually saw Throttle's eyes. What the hell was with that boy's voice? Ah, crawl. He sounds like fucking Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh yeah, they just abandoned the orphans in the middle of a blizzard after blowing a hole in their roof saying that they'd save them. Could have driven them into town at least, you know? Jeez, my sir. Don't worry, there's a lot more national stereotypes they've got to plow through before this gets... You know, they run out of villain ideas. <laughs> she can just instant transmit things by snapping her fingers. How is she so focused on a weather quirk thing when she can just snap her fingers and create? This human's a god being. And she's more worried about becoming like fat German storm. <laughs> more worried about the fact that she can just create. There's been so many smash cuts as well. I don't know where the ad break was supposed to be. Over right now. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. They can just, they have this tech where they can do all of this ridiculously OP shit and they're still losing! What the fuck? Also, they're sucking up snow, calling it ice, and dumping it in a giant snow cone in the space. You 
could just steal all their water and freeze it later. Why do they sometimes draw him like that? So to be fair, this is quite a sinister thing. Stealing the resources of planet Earth is bad anyway. Snow suckers, that's really the best choice of words they could find. Snow suckers. Oh god, they're creating a giant mega mech. Are they gonna make a Power Rangers reference? See that. See another cut where it could have been an ad break. Suddenly their bikes work perfectly well after that short period of time where they didn't work perfectly well. Is it just because the snow skid skidoo thing? That's not how. S oh, I guess that's how snow can work. Um, that's not really though. <laughs> it's being modeled like it's warp. I don't even know what's real anymore. <laughs> He's holding on a whole motorbike by his tail off a cliff, man. That must hurt like fuck. Unraveling as he does that. Uh, <laughs> you mean suicidal, slightly perverted lunatic? <laughs> I love that Vinny is like the complete nut job who just trashes everything. And doesn't care about it. Oh, that must hurt landing crotch first on a motorbike from a high height. These guys, like. This is where they really start to character develop the mice to show differentiation. They kind of did a basic stuff where it's like, Frawl's the leader, Moto's the kind of semi clever but kind and muscular guy. Vinny's a nut job, and they really start to show. No, Vinny is a genuine nut job, and start giving him more stuff to do, and it's kind of fun. <laughs> but then sometimes they give Moto really dumb comments. With the uh, Terry Cultured. Like 
surprise, surprise. They blew up his building again. <laughs> but every week he has it rebuilt. So you gotta wonder who he's contracting out for that. That would be a safe building to live in. Santa Throttle. They, they really, really... It's just puns. Bad Christmas puns all the way through. Uh, the... Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame that they never had better riders for the biker mice for the first few seasons because it feels like something that could have gotten over if they've been willing to take more risks or better jokes and one-liners because occasionally they say something that's kind of funny they make a few good jokes but they really just didn't assign roles to the characters particularly well and like some of the jokes fall so fucking flat and you're like oh not, that's not even good. <laughs> like, you know, like a lot of this relies like on like fairly decent like one liners that are memorable to be competitive, <laughs> and they just it just needed like a little bit better everything animation, plot design, character design, you know, and it would have just been up there competing a little bit more. I think. <laughs> 